Hello, welcome to the RG Bargy channel. Um, this is going to be my first video, my first gaming video. I've done some other videos before, but um, I decided I want to concentrate on my gaming. So, the first game we're going to play, as you can see before you, is Minecraft. So, let's get started. I'm going to create a new world first. Let's call it um, the RG Bargy. LP. I'm going to make that the world seed as well. So anyone wants to play along, they've got the seed there straight away. Let's create that world. Okay, while well that's generating in, I've been playing Minecraft for about mm, two years, playing on my son's account. Finally got my own account for Christmas of my kids, which I'm very grateful for. Um, you may have seen me around using the Mancot Mauler 1 tag, but this is my new in-game name, Argy Bargy. So, I think some chunks of loaded now so let's get in there so we're in a savannah biome which is not too bad first task as always in minecraft punch some wood I've been following minecraft for quite a long time I watch a lot of people especially people like Biffa and Paul Saws Juniors um, the mall of minecraft mind crack people the hermit craft people I haven't really watched the yogcast I know a lot of people watch that it's very popular and OCD kicks in straight away I've got to finish this tree all the way to the top yep happy with that Let's have a look over the hill, see what we've got. I found when I'm playing Minecraft, I'm pretty obsessed with making sure I've got a decent supply of animals around me, especially on the single player. And even more so if you go to play multiplayer. You'll find that if you go on a huge server, I play on the Woodycraft server, there just aren't any animals, there isn't any food, it's a real struggle to get started. But when you're playing on your own, usually you can find yourself a decent herd of cows, pigs, chickens. Right on cue there. What I'm looking for, just at the moment, is a place to dig in. Just to get started. Chickens again. Quite an unusual formation of the ponds here. But this isn't what we want, so let's get moving. First animal we're really interested in is the sheep. It's useful right at the beginning, and then it's not really useful until you start needing to decorate your homes and your builds. While we're running round, no problem trying to catch a few seeds on the way across. And there's a sheep, so I'm going to make a crafting bench. I'm going to make some sticks. Put my bench down. and a quick way to dispatch some sheep where's he gone? he must have heard me oh there's one, two the reason we need these is we need their wool and 
that's three blocks of wool. Now let's get some food. I've only really played around. I'm using the expression, Windows expression software to do my screen capture. I've only done little snippets. I've never done any sort of decent length video, so it's a bit of a learning experience for me. The previous videos I've done I've barely even commented on. Um, they tend to have just been uh, slideshows of projects that I've been working on. My allotments, electronic projects that I've had been playing around with. Right, that'll be enough food for now, I think. So, I'm really after tips. I know there's an awful lot of people playing Minecraft out there and recording their videos. I'd appreciate any help I get. I intend to follow my comments really closely. It's been advice from all the people that have got very successful YouTube channels that you've got to keep in touch with what people are telling you. It looks like I may be on an island. A bit disappointing start, really. Any cows down there? Can't see any. Let's make our way right over to that corner. Oops. Glad I'm not on UHC mode. For those people that don't know, UHC mode is incredibly difficult to regain your health. I have tried a few games at that. I'm playing in hardcore on the Woodycraft server. Hardcore survival. Although, why I'm on a server, I'll never know. I don't really spend much time in the chat. We've got our wood. Some clay there under the, under the water. What I really need to do is find some cows. But I'm quite happy with the start. Didn't spawn in the middle of a desert. Had some access to acacia, so if I do stay quite close here and decide to build my home near here. I can use that red wood. Looks really good on some designs. Ah, this is more like it. Now I'm okay for food really, so I don't need to waste these pigs right now. Let's see if we can find some cows. Why the obsession with cows? I think it's because I I've played so many survival servers where they've been so scarce you can't do any enchanting without cows so I think this episode should be the quest for cows really but we'll have a good mooch round see what we can find Now for people that are interested, uh, I've built this computer myself, it's based on the AMD A10 6800 processor, the overclock one, um, although at the moment there's some cows, great, and there's loads of them. So somewhere to build now. This is quite a good uh, area actually. Just here is going to be fine. I'm close to some desert. I've got trees. Like I say, I've got the acacia over there. So let's knock some more tools up. Just put this over here out of the way. Very 
it is we're going to want a pick first so we'll convert all that timber to a pick and we'll do a shovel too just to get rid of the dirt wooden tools obviously first never you start minecraft this is just about what you're going to start with I'm on single player there's absolutely no rush to get started just going to clear some area just simple straightforward house Now if you've ever watched people like B double O, Generic B, the B team, they're quite happy at this point just to get a bed made, stick it on the ground and go to sleep as soon as it starts to get dark. So I think that's what I'm going to do too. I'm going to be ready. There's my bed stick it on the ground and now if it does start to go dark while I'm getting ready I can just pop over to the bed and jump in there before the hostile mobs have a chance to spawn let's see if we can quickly find some stone is there any stone showing around here? There's some. As you can see, my hunger's getting a bit low. I'm going to need a furnace pretty quickly. Right, let's go and find our bed. You also lose the ability to sprint if your hunger is really low. Make sure there isn't anything crept up on us in the night. No, it looks like we're fine. Oh, there's a Zombles over there. Zombles. I think I've been watching too many people play. Well, I don't think he can make it over here. Not in the sunlight, anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any threat. So, I've got some stone. I'm going to make a furnace. I'm really liking Minecraft with this uh, click and drag. Um. Yeah, I think I'll jump over there while well, that's cooking. Get a bit more stone. Now you can see I'm digging into the wall here. The reason behind that is I could potentially start a mine from here. down to some lower levels where all the more valuable laws are but first and foremost let's get our health back up So yeah, I'm quite happy with this uh, this spawn. We haven't had to travel too far. Savannah over there as well. Might want to search a bit 
further later on but for getting started we're in a pretty good place next tool I'm going to make is the axe and let's get a bit more wood and open up this area immediately around where I'm going to be building I'll just give us a bit more chance to see if any mobs are sneaking up on us. Plus it's always handy to have the materials ready. We seem to have all the animals really localised around where we're building. That's going to help the game move on. Not too many struggles. If anybody's just starting out in Minecraft, these basics are pretty important. Especially if you're starting out on a server, you absolutely want to just get some basic materials under your belt. I'm going to make a chest now, so that if I die, all my materials are safe. And we're going to keep the axe out. I'm going to upgrade these tools now, so we need a bit more timber. Um, yeah, that'll do. I'm going to make a sword for dispatching some more food should we need it. And I'm going to make a stone pickaxe. Um, should I make a stone shovel? How much was left? How we actually used our shovel up, so... Let's make a stone shovel too. You can see there when I got that chicken, I got some XP. And again, if you're on a multiplayer server, with an awful lot of people, XP from the furnace becomes very important to your game progression so you need to remember is if you've got furnaces in a multiplayer situation especially if you're doing it on the cheap like me just playing on a free account on their server you're unlikely to have access to the end mobs will spawn very very slowly so it's difficult to get XP from the mobs. So your best opportunity really is to every single piece of cobble that you make, that you mine, sorry, get it in a furnace, turn it into stone, get some XP from it. As I said, this is my first video. I'm trying to calm down my playing style, I'm usually a little bit more frantic than this darting around but I'm not sure what my frame rate's going to be like let's get those apples got some saplings we can replant yeah, great So that's my start. I'm hoping this will prove to be a nice long series. Some more eggs. Yeah, a nice long series that just explores Minecraft for those people that haven't done it before. And for anybody that's coming across this video for the first time. 
please, if you have any hints and tips, be really welcome. As I say, I've been playing Minecraft for a while, but I haven't done anything on video. I haven't structured it yet. I just pretty much dived in and thought today, this is what I'm going to do. Have a YouTube channel. Why not use it for something? So yeah, I'm going to escape out of this now. If you've enjoyed what I've done, or if you've not enjoyed what I've done, leave a comment, like, dislike, thumbs up, thumbs down. Any input is welcome. Thank you.